With Roblox stores being out for so long and even making a couple videos about it in the past going over things that regular players have never seen before, guess what? There's even more stuff to show deep within the game. These are more things you never saw in Roblox stores. Like and comment which you found the most interesting and it's time to blow some minds once again. Number 1. Despawning Entities in the past, we have seen a glimpse of how entities such as Ambush and Rush spawn in as they simply just appear out of nowhere, but how do they despawn and what about all the other entities within the game? I mean we all know how Seek spawns and even despawns as well, especially if you perform the glitch, but Rush has an interesting despawn apparently as they literally drop right through the floor at the end of their cycle and into the void eventually leaving the game box. Playing in third person mode is a weird experience though and we can actually change the camera angle within the settings of Roblox as well and it can show us the exact moment where Screech spawns in as it looks looks pretty funny in this camera angle, especially with its big smile. Though when he attacks, it can ruin the camera angle completely. Ambush does spawn in similar to Rush as they wait a couple seconds giving players time to hide, followed by also dropping through the floor in order to despawn. Timothy the Spider is also another interesting one as in third person mode, it still acts as a screen jump scare, it doesn't appear to jump directly at the player's avatar model, which which I found was pretty interesting. As for Halt, we've recently created the True Origins video for them and they simply spawn in by dropping from the ceiling following the player first which gives them that creepy eerie vibe then despawning by simply blinking out of existence as well. Figure is pretty straightforward as they spawn into the game in a T pose and the same thing for Seek as well before being configured to animate for their cutscenes. Eyes and Glitch as the last special ones which you've seen and should know at game. But it's always interesting seeing how some of these entities spawn into the game especially when most of the time we never get a chance to see them. Number 2 Ending Mystery once you've gone through all the rooms in Roblox stores and reached the end, you are rewarded with the infamous cutscene of going inside the elevator and I guess figure trying to oof you. But have you ever wondered how long this elevator shaft actually was? Especially considering how long the cutscene goes on for, it makes sense that it has to be a relatively deep one leading into presumably the game's next major update. Well if you take a look within the classified files for for the game and with the developer's permission of course, we can actually see just how long this cutscene elevator can go on for and bro, it looks so weird the further down you go as it only appears two sides remain intact afterwards which makes sense towards the end of the cutscene. We can also get a closer look on the red button that is used to power the elevator noting will lighten when powered. It's pretty interesting taking a sneak peek in this part especially since it is an uncontrollable part within the game. Number 3 Mystery Blocks Again, within the realm of the classified Roblox Doors asset map granted by the developers, we can notice something very strange, especially above the roofs of many rooms within the game. Did you see it yet? Yeah, this random little wooden cube that is just hovering above the building and for presumably no reason as well. Do the developers still play with kids toys or something and this is a reference to that? No, don't be silly! If we actually end up moving this block, we can see that it is indeed attached to the models of the chandeliers that you can see on top of the roofs in the game. Honestly, an interesting concept considering it's floating beneath the wooden block like that, but it's how the developers programmed it in order to keep room generation nice and simple, surprisingly enough. Number 4, Seek Spider. Whenever it comes to doing the seek chase within Roblox doors, there's only one thing that goes through the player's mind and that is to just reach the end and avoid getting caught by the entity. Very rarely do people notice their surroundings, especially when it comes to these very interestingly placed drawers mid chase. Wait, what? If you've never tried it before, is it even possible to open these mid chase? 
Actually, yes it is. It could be a mere attempt to slow players down to help Seek catch up to them, but things get crazier. The Mighty actually uploaded video proof of them getting a Timothy, a 1 out of 200 chance spider inside the Seek chase. Just take a look. Yeah, I bet you'd never seen that before. Not only is it possible to open drawers mid-chase, but the chances of getting a spider too? It's pretty mind-blowing. Honestly, this is an underrated clip as well, but hopefully more people witness this magical moment. Number 5, Unused Cutscene. This one's actually crazy, but being posted about a month ago, there was another new unused song that was discovered, and it has something to do with the courtyard? Simply titled LA The Courtyard, it was presumably a soundtrack that was going to be used specifically for the courtyard, especially with the name labeled as Courtyard Entrance. So of course, this soundtrack brought up some rumors that a cutscene was supposed to happen upon entering the courtyard. We even hit up Redibles, the co-developer for Doors on this, and literally all they said was that they would rather plead the fifth. This does spark possibly even more theories behind this. Though a fellow player had an idea for the cutscene along with an achievement, hmm. what could it have looked like in the game? Now that would have been cool, just saying. Number 6, Funny Parody? Many players that follow Roblox Doors on Twitter should have heard about this one. Recently, there has been another major musical YouTuber named Silver Gunner that specializes in transforming songs into custom versions, one of which includes this hotel short version that was posted by the developer of Doors themselves. Take a listen. Sounds familiar, right? It's legit the elevator theme that plays whenever you're in the in-game shop. Of course, a lot of people are talking about this in the comments, but what do you guys think this could mean? Could the developers actually replace the elevator theme with this in the future? Let us know down below. 